So this is just a quick video just to really show you how I design uh, different graphics and things because it's, obviously I can't see very well. It's not as easy as it may first appear. So this is Keynote for Mac and it is a presentation software like PowerPoint. And you may be thinking, why on earth have you got this open? Well, this is what I design 90% of all of the stuff, all the graphics I make in. So I just create a new presentation. I need, this is a white one because it's going to go on Blank Computing. I'm going to be designing a mock-up logo for Blank Computing just to see if I can do anything interesting with that. And yeah, so first of all, what I want to do is I'm going to come up here to document and I'm going to come to uh, slide size, custom, I want this to be a square, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it 1024 by 1024, although then again we probably don't need that much, let's just do um, Let's just do a thousand by thousand. One, one, and you can see we now have a square. Now I'm just going to check. Where are we here? Zoom to fit content. There we go. Now we can see the whole square. And I'm going to get started here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the insert menu. And we're going to insert a rectangle. And there it is. Now the way I design things is I come and select them. And then I come over to the format inspector. Select that object. And I go to a range. And you will see here you can align and distribute and stuff, but you can change the size from here. So, for example, let's do. Let's just 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 do something random here. Four thousand four hundred by three hundred. Keep doing that, and then I can come to align center middle, and I can see how big that is now. Obviously. For what I'm doing, uh, it's not really big enough. So let's say it's 480 by 360. You may notice I'm doing a 4 by 3 uh, size here, aspect ratio, because I want this to look like a screen. And I I don't know why, I just really want it to be a 4 by 3 screen. And uh, now... Oh, style... Right, now I want to change the fill. I want it to be a colour fill. Well, actually... I can make it easy for myself and just do no fill. Because... Order... Oh, I don't want to choose a preset. No border. Uh, what, what is a picture frame? I've never actually looked at this. Interesting. What does formal insert look like? I don't know, I can't really see it to be fair. What if I scale this up? Oh, you can't. Okay. Well, I'd love to use that, but we're just going to go with a line. I'm going to leave it a solid stroke, and actually, <laughs> there we go pretty much. That's basically what I wanted. It's black. It's 
five points. Let's make it one and see how thin that is. Okay, pretty thin. I might make it three. I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is make a screen inside this, because this is obviously just the... Uh, just the outside border of a display and actually I'm going to change the size real quick and I'll show you why in a minute but uh, let's add a shadow just for the I don't know what looks the best we'll just do this one Let's go to me. So, Instead of making this 360, I'm going to make it 400. Because, there we go, I'm going to need a little bit of space for the buttons on the bottom. Obviously, this I'm creating a monitor, so... Let's just change this to 100. Okay, that's pretty high up. Might do 200. Uh, 180. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Right. So, next I want to add the main part of the display, and to do that I'm going to insert another shape. Actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I forgot to do this. I want to make sure it's centered. There we go. Um, I'm going to duplicate it. And here's another one. We're going to change this to 440. I'm going to change this to 320, I believe. And now then, we can align it center. And I'm getting notifications. I don't want this to be at 200 and... Oh, actually, that's X. 190. I don't want it to be 190. I want it to be... So that's 180, 200 exactly, I think. And there I have my border for the main screen itself, but I want to make it a bit thinner. So to do that... Uh, this is just going to be one point thickness. And let's see, can I see that? I think so. I might have to get my glasses here in a minute. Cool. These are, in case you're wondering, these are actually uh, basically people making logos for me, which is very nice. You know what? I really like that, but I want it to be a rounded rectangle, so we're going to do it again. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want a dashboard. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add a rounded rectangle and we're going to do that over, over again. Because I forgot I was going to do this. Okay, rounded rectangle. Oops. All these buttons on the screen, you tend to get lost. Center. And now I need to change the color. Uh, that's not what I wanted. No fill. And I just made it not full screen. That's because full screen. Line. There we go. Um. What does two points look like? I can't really see this very well. There we go. Uh, 
looks pretty good. I think I might just leave it like that. What's my border radius? That's what I want to know. Now, I haven't actually done this before. Is it in the range? Yes. It's at 15 points if I set it to like 100. It gets massively rounded and I don't obviously want it that rounded. I want it like 20 probably. I don't really know exactly. That's a bit too rounded I think. I think. Let's see. Where are my glasses? Are they around here? Oh great. They've got to be close by. Is I want to put some text in here, but it's not really text. You see, it is uh, emoji and symbols. A really good way, if you're blind or visually impaired and you're designing graphics, to uh, do graphics, basically, so to put symbols in your graphics, is using emojis. It may look a little amateurish, but considering what you can do otherwise, you know, that can I press find. I thought you could... Uh, I think it's in Smiles and People. Oh, there's Search. Eyes. Oh, why won't let me type in it? Well, that doesn't make sense. That's one all of them. You may notice normally I do this on an iPad, so this isn't as easy as it looks because let's see, can I just do it from here? That's okay, I'm gonna have to go into keyboard preferences. Somewhere in here. Oh, it's not in here, it's in um, no. This isn't system preferences. System preferences, it's in language and input. Language and region? Was it in here? I don't know. Let's check keyboard. Input sources. Show that menu. Right, what's in this menu? Text input, there is. Show emoji and symbols. This is better. Because you can just search. Vertical 
Oh no, why? It is. Why? It is. Oh, give me the name. Character's brain. Character. Character's brain. That's interesting. Give me the name. Character's brain. Eyes. Uh -huh. Eye. Two of Ima's speech bubble representing the anti bullying campaign. Face with rolling eyes. Grinning face with tightly closed eyes. Face Ima's speech bubble. Eye. Two of 62. I would probably pick the. System dialogue. What do you want? I'd probably pick the regular eye. Characters rate. In my eyes. Out of characters. In my eye. Out of character. Out of vertical split eye. Add to favorites. Button. Scroll area. In the font variation. Related characters and font variation. Table. Font variation. Add to eye. Eye. You are currently on add eye. In the key. Eye. 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 Out of add to favorites. Button. Scroll area. How do you copy it? This used to be a really easy way to do this. Custom view. Menu. Custom view. Eye. Oops, I don't want system references. Oh. Oops, what have I done? I keep doing this all wrong. Oh, I got rid of it. Hang on then. No! <laughs> okay, be aware that if you do this yourself, you can't just press, um, you can't just press Command F. You have to do this. Can you just click it and press copy? No. Why not? Can you right click it? Menu, one item. Oh. Copy character info. No. Copy character info. What does that do? Press copy character. Spotlight. Spot 81. Spotlight. Ah. End that. No color. End that. I. I Unicode. U plus 1 F441. UTF 8. F09 F9 D image. I. End that. No color. Null. I quit that. Ah. Ah. I. Space. E. E. Space. I. Select. Hang on, I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna paste that info I just got. There we go, I've copied the eye character out. Now I can get rid of this. Come back to my keynote. Okay. And now I've pasted the eye in. And I can make it way bigger. Now, there's a bunch of ways to do this, but I'm just going to come here. And change 28 to 100, like, or something. Uh, that's not big enough. 200? I want it to take up a lot of the screen. So, yeah, probably like 200. That looks about right. Something like that. What's 250 look like? Oh, it doesn't appear. It appears at 230, but it's pretty cramped. Yeah, let's just leave it at 200, that looks about right. Um, right, this is an in full screen again, so we're going to put it in full screen. The next thing that I was going to do is this space I left for buttons, we can... Do something interesting with it. But before we do that, I well. Why not? It's gonna be a blank computing monitor. I need a better font for this, but for now. Okay, remember that it's 44 points high. That actually means we need to change something else here, but I'm gonna. Okay, so this is this is start at 180, and it's 400 big. So that takes us to 580. Take away 44. Well, actually, take away 40 because that's the amount of space I have. And you get uh, 540, 
but I'm going to add 20 pixels of padding. So let's say this is 560. Selection six, zero. Now obviously it's off the bottom now, but I can fix that. If I change this to 444, I think. And then it lines up. I do want to make that text smaller because I am well, I was originally planning to put a power button there and it's not going to fit with that there. I'm hoping that's the right size. Hang on. Let me think about this. So, 560 goes to 584. No, it doesn't. It goes to 5 it goes to 604. So it needs to get to 624. And it starts at 180, so minus 180. Okay. This does take a while to think about sometimes, but you have to do it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Give me the result. Quick nub, quick nub, box log, one, six hundred and twenty-four, calculate right quick. Okay, that's what I thought. Two hundred plus one. So then six, six two, two, four, two, minus six hundred and twenty-seven. Six hundred six hundred and twenty-four. Calculate right. Say, say. What does it need to minus? It needs to minus forty-four pixels. Four. Five hundred eighty. Calculate right on image. Completion selected. Okay, and then take away two of those twenties. Well, one of those 20s and needs to start at 60, yeah. Okay, I think we've got it right. The only thing is, actually, I'm going to need to change it again anyway, because I didn't think of this. I'm going to be changing the size of this text, which is going to change the size of everything else. I want bold. Change this 30 to like 20. And I'm going to have to. As much as I. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want it at the bottom just so I can. Just so I can see how big it is, because it's pretty hot to see on this TV in a bright room. That looks about right. Now let's put it in the right place. Oh, okay, it's 32 points high. If we put it at 560. It's right there, but you can see my thing is now too big. I can fix that, don't worry. Uh, let's see here. So we get out of here. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I should just need to change this 444 to 432, surely. Yeah, that looks about right, actually. Okay, we'll leave it like that, but next I need some buttons or speakers or whatever they're going to look like. So. Oh, before I do that. Um, I want to change the colour of this text because, you know, it's kind of boring right now. So you click here. Now then, the way I do colours is I go to colour sliders. Either that or colour palettes, but we're going to use colour sliders because I can. 
RGB I don't want to do something like this weird blue color. I made that color up a heck of a long time ago. I don't know, I just kind of want to use it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfectly black and white. As long as it's readable. I don't know if that's readable, actually. That's a point. Mm. Uh... I could go something really simple. Grey 50. Oh, wrong way. I might want like grey 35. Obviously. Yeah, we'll take that. I like the grayscale theme because it's very simple. And you'll notice, you'll know if you've visited Blind Computing that it has a very simple uh, design philosophy. <laughs> if you can even call it that. Right, let's add some. It looks like it's actually going to be more like speakers. Where does this come up to? Four hundred and sixteen points. And this starts at two hundred and sixty. So if we do some basic math, four sixteen minus. To 60 is 156, but we're going to take away 40 off that, which is obviously 116. So our speaker things, whatever they're actually going to be, are going to be 116 points wide. And they're going to be 32 points tall, maybe a bit more than that actually. I might make it, let's say 40 points tall and put it 4 pixels up so it's centred still. Just so it looks a bit thicker than the text. So now I have to decide what I want. Uh, diamond would be kind of interesting. I think we'll just go for the standard rounded rectangle. One one six. Uh, the height is going to be forty. Wait, what? I'm sure this is a joke. I'm just chatting. Okay. I just want to see how big it is, so I'm sticking it at the bottom. That's a bit wide for a speaker. Uh, might make it 40 by 80. Yeah, let's do that. I want to Yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay. Now, to figure out where this needs to go, I know it needs to go at 5, 556 on the Y, but to figure out where it goes on the X, we select this here, 
and um, Okay, yeah, it's 260, I forgot about that. So we change this to 280, because I want it to be the same as that uh, border there. And we can now change its colour and stuff. Not text, I'm not putting text in it. I'm not too sure what I want to do here. What's advanced gradient fill? What's in advanced image fill? Uh, stretch. What I could do is download a checkerboard image. Just let me. Just let me yeah, okay. It's always good to experiment. What's advanced image fill? Okay, it just gives you these. Let's try an advanced gradient. Uh, <laughs> hang on, can I remember how to use gradients? <laughs> Maybe this should be zero. zero oh, it depends on if you want it up or down. Okay, that's fun. Doesn't look like voiceover likes editing these. Yeah, I want to do it. Okay, oh, it'll do this though. So we could say. I want the light one on the top. Gray 75. I was hoping I'd be able to find a way to make this look green, but. Well, it's grey, but I don't really care. Grey feels like that. Grey 50. I don't want much of a difference. So it's from grey, grey 57. Can I see it? That is the question. Not very well, but I can't see it. I don't know. How do you make this look good? Hmm. <sighs> oh, that's also off center. To be fair, it actually looks pretty good where it is. I'm always gonna leave it. Let's duplicate this and yeah, put it in the right place. Now I have another one. You are in the wrong place. Okay, and that thing is 480 wide, so take off the 20, you get 460, and then take off 80, you're gonna get 380. And I should be perfectly lined up. Oh, wait, what? Why can't I see it then? That's weird. Let's set it to zero. zero. Yeah, it appears over there. Three, eight, zero. Oh, <laughs> plus 260. So that is. Maths work. <laughs> Six, 40. Six, four. Yes. 
I think. Hang on. You may notice I use the spotlight calculator quite a bit. Yeah, 640. I'm always right. <laughs> there we go, there's our speakers. They're gonna do for now. Next, I want to add a stand. Because obviously, one that doesn't make any sense if it doesn't have a stand on it. But before I do, I'm gonna do something. Else, actually. I'm gonna make this rounded rectangle. Uh, I'm in the wrong tab. Style. I want to give it a whoa, I don't want it to do that. <laughs> I want to give it a fill. Hmm. What what color? I want to. I'll, I'll make it a grayscale because the whole thing is grayscale. Well, gray twenty five. Oh, gray seventy five. Nah, still say bite. Dude, dark. I just want it to be. Obviously, I don't want it black. That would look kind of strange. Well, it wouldn't look that strange, we don't have to take as much X colour and stuff. Let's make it blue. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it doesn't look right, pretty good right now though, because the screen is the same colour as the border. So we're going to change that. Do that every time. Colour fill. Keeps changing my thing. Oops. Grayscale. White. Okay. I don't know what that looks like, but probably pretty good. Looks it looks okay to me. For something I made. <laughs> um Right, let's proceed to make the stand. So, for this we're going to need the coordinates. Hundred and eighty plus four hundred and thirty-two is. <sighs> I can't be bothered today. I can obviously do these in my head, but six hundred twelve. Okay. Hello. Wait, um, is um. The GoPro charged. Yeah. Possibly, but um, don't worry, I'm cutting this. I'm in the middle of making this logo. <laughs> okay. So, uh, this is part that I'm also making a video on how I'm making this logo. <laughs> So, possibly, but I'll do it in a minute. This is good for our bloopers. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, we're going to insert a shape. Regular rectangle. There it is. It's obviously the complete wrong shade of grey and stuff right now. I want it to be, considering it's 480 wide, I'll probably make it 240. Ollie! Close me door! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll change the height later. Uh, yep, that's in the right place. 450 needs to change though. It needs to be at 612. Now then, what I'm going to do, and actually, before I do anything, I'll change the list to 50 because it's massive on 2B. There we go. Um, and then, 
What I want to do, I'm going to make this white. Uh, Oops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, I want color fill, actually. No, I don't want that, sorry. I want uh, this grayscale slider. White. And the reason I'm making it white, and I'm going to get out of this box, is because I wanted to see, and it looks like it's right, that the border is on the outside of this box. Actually, no, it's not right. Hang on. I think it's like halfway in between. So, to check this, I'm going to go to range. And I'm going to change this to 609. Actually, no, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go down one. Until that border disappears. And it looks like, yeah, it needs to be 609. So that border is on the inside of the shape, and I want to get rid of it because obviously this is going to be the stand. So. But then again. No, I don't, because if you think about it, you need that border because it's. This stand's going to be a different colour, it's going to be grey 90 to match the actual border. So, okay, we're going to do that. And then. I'm going to change the fill, and do this again. I'm going to make it 90%, and that's going to give us that same grey colour. There we go. And that's pretty much done for this bit. Now we need the bigger part of the stand. Now what do I want to use because I might try an oval because okay uh, hmm. I'm thinking a very thin oval. Let's try a very thin oval. Let's make an oval. Let's change the width to, uh, let's see, 360. Oops. And let's change this to something like 30. And um, center. And then what I'm going to do is it's at 450 points right now. That's incorrect. We're going to do 6, 12 plus 50 minus 10. 652. Let's see if that looks good. And you'll see it does that. Now then, does that look okay? Looks a bit too thick. And actually, I made it wrong anyway. It needs to be 20, so that's fine. Yeah, I think that'll work. I need to change its colour, obviously. And sign the There we go. It's on a stand now. And I think I'm done. So let's go negative and you can see what it's gonna look like regularly. In fact you can anyway because forget I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video. I have everything inverted. I don't think QuickTime Player records that. So, this is what the final product looks like. I'm going to post this on Twitter and see what you guys think and see what I should change about it. But, uh, yeah, this is a mock-up of the new Blank Computing logo, the idea I had for it. It can change massively. I don't really mind if anyone wants to make a better version of this or stylize it a bit more, something like that. I will have the keynote file as a Dropbox link in the description. And I hope you like this video. 
along with a JPEG. So I hope you like this video. If you did a like, it's most appreciated. Please press it. You can also dislike it. There'll also be a JPEG in the description. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Just kidding. Um, you don't want to break your screen, do you? Or your mouse. Um, you can dislike the video. I don't really know why I want to do that. It's just me rambling on, but you can if you want to. And if you want to, you can also leave a comment to tell me why you didn't like the video. You can comment anyway, and you can subscribe if you want to see this stuff quite often on your homepage. I'll see you next time. Peace.